So what does believe mean? To believe means to discover the world. To not always understand what's happening. To stay strong even though we feel like giving up. To do the things you're passionate about. But also spend time with our loved ones. To believe means to hold on to the wonders of this world. For me, to believe means to create, to inspire, and to make the world a better place. Oh, just a little bit of water to clear up my throat. What's up folks? So the video you just saw was entirely shot using ArtGrid stock footage. The great part is that I didn't have to leave my home and I was able to edit together a cinematic sequence that looks pretty awesome. ArtGrid recently reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to make a video about their service and I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys what stock footage is and how you can use it to your benefit. If you're a filmmaker or a content creator, this might be useful for you. So what is stock footage? Stock footage is basically B-roll footage, usually less than a minute creators may use for their video projects. I use stock footage to fill in the gaps where I don't have enough video material to help tell the story. More important is the content of your video and the message you're trying to convey to the audience. There are many marketing campaigns out there using only stock footage to promote their business and it can really be used in a variety of video production styles. Using stock footage is often cheaper and easier solution. Maybe you don't have the time or money to travel to a location to get a specific shot for your commercial video. In this case, using stock footage would be the better solution since it's ready to use at a fraction of the cost of your own shootings. Let's now look at ArtGrid's intuitive website and how you can use their stock footage to your benefit. So ArtGrid uses high quality stock footage captured by professional filmmakers. They also have done a really good job organizing the clips, which makes it easier for users to find. From my experience, other stock footage services organize videos individually by themes, where ArcRid additionally has the option of stories, which basically are groups of associated clips shot from different angles. So you can review these stories in the filmmakers section. Here you can see high quality videos made by professional filmmakers, such as Brandon Lee, who is one of my biggest inspirations. Now going back, you're also able to choose video themes, shot types, and people. So for example, in the video shot type section, you're able to choose the framing, the camera movement, the time of day, and other options to find the shot you need for your video. When clicking on the video, you will have the option as well to choose a variety of clips of the same video. This makes it easier to piece together clips to create a sequence, making your video more dynamic. Really choose clips that are consistent with the look of the rest of your video, otherwise it wouldn't make it credible for the viewers. Really pick the right angles to avoid mismatching as well as the right lighting, otherwise the viewer may quickly get distracted. For example, the establishing shot at the beginning of the video had to be color graded to match since it wasn't part of the story sequence of the kid with the astronaut outfit. I also added the moon to make it feel more realistic and another part that I find transitioned well is the part uh, after the UFO sequence where it cut over to the woman putting on her boxing gloves. I think it matches well since both scenes take place at night and have this bluish color tone. Now I also added a voiceover of my own voice to the entire video to tell the story better. I mean, I don't have the best voice, but I think for this example, it worked pretty well. Another way to make the video more engaging and look more seamless is to add sound effects. It helps deliver the information and increases the production value uh, of your video. I encourage you to really take the time to layer the clips with sound effects to bring it to life. So let me show you how it sounds when playing the clip back just with the sound effects on. 13 feet, eight feet,
As you can see, it gives the video more weight and helps the viewer understand what's, what's happening. Music choice also plays a huge role since it evokes emotion in people and can elevate your video dramatically. You want to make sure to choose the right piece of music to match it with the mood of your story. All music and sound effects used in the video are from Artlist. Now choosing the right music isn't always easy. I know that if you have difficulties, make sure to check out my video on how to find the right music for your video. I will link the video up here somewhere. So let's now talk about Artgrid's pricing. Um, in order for you to use their stock footage, depending on your needs, you can select three different subscription plans. The Junior HD for $24 per month will grant you full access to HD clips. This is great if you are using it for social media purpose since it handles HD video much better. The Creator 4K Plus for $39 per month is the most popular one and allows you to download 4K up to 8K clips in ProRes RAW format. So you get really high quality resolution clips that you can easily incorporate into your projects. The Pro Raw Log for $49 will give you the best formats such as raw and log clips, which allow for more flexibility in post-production when color grading your footage. Now, all of the subscription plans cover personal and commercial use for your projects without having to worry about copyright issues. I think using ArtGrid stock footage is a really great way to save time, money, and resource. You can use stock footage to add B-roll or even create an entire video with it. If you're interested and want to check out ArtGrid, I have a link below that will give you two months for free on an annual subscription. So guys, hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any further questions. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Racer. And if you want to learn more about mobile filmmaking, make sure to check out these two videos right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.